we're gonna wait for you guys to come and load in. Hi, welcome. All right guys, so while everybody comes in, we're at the Soho store today with the full team. So we have everyone here and we're excited to talk to you guys about the fundamentals. So once we get a few more people, we will absolutely dig in. Um, just for you. Thank you, yeah, this is really exciting. This is absolutely spring fundamentals in the store in Soho. So, we have Patrick nearby. Patrick's gonna join us. Um, the main thing about fundamentals that I'm really excited about are these are silhouettes that my body, my mind understands because they're tried and true. We've worn them, you're not even in. Oh, wow, I'm like, I'm like literally bouncing back and forth like <laughs> on screen. We're not, not even, even in. <laughs> um, that are tried and true. We understand these bodies and the silhouettes, but now that we're introducing them in new fabrications and also new colors. So. Today, I'm wearing actually the great new, I keep calling it the home, but it's not called yeah. It's mint. Yeah, it's mint. Dark so mint. let's think like mint julep, mint in the Liam in large, back to the t-shirt, which is the t-shirt program, and of course, the wool jogger in nylon. So, Patrick. Yes. yes. What am I wearing? <laughs> yeah, well, let's, I mean, let's just have a conversation. Yeah. I mean, Patrick's been doing these great conversations here in the store, alone and together with other people, and we want to talk about what fundamentals mean for us. Well, yeah, I think that this is, again, this is always the accompaniment the accompaniment to the full line. So, like, think of, like, fundamentals as, again, that's why we introduce it before we actually introduce the spring line, because this is going to help you create, again, create that baseline in your wardrobe so that it's clean to the point where you're able to elevate your creative part. So think of this as if we had to do the CP scale. Mm -hmm. Fundamentals is really on the on the pragmatic. So, yeah. oop, all the way on the pragmatic side. <laughs> and then as you're able to add in, like, spring or, say, it's fall, eventually we'll do we'll food fall fundamentals and then we'll do fall, that takes it all the way to that kind of, create. you're able to get all the way to the creative aspect of that spectrum as right. well. So again, we're just standardizing that like kind of baseline. Um, and I think that uh, what I was excited about the most during when we created this collection are the t-shirts that you're doing because I think that we've been reaching for something so easy and effortless for so long in that. And I just love that we did them in a bunch of colors, we did them in like two shapes, and I just think that it was the one thing that we were missing part of it. So. Yeah, and the, the fundamentals for us are really the foundation, as we said, for the collection. Um, With All Fails didn't come from anywhere. I mean, Amy actually created something that was so ingenious, but also so realistic to how we need to get dressed every day, and the fundamentals really do that for you. So if you're able to pull something kind of, you know, eyes open, eyes, I said eyes wide shut, but don't reference that movie. <laughs> if you want to, you can. It's a great movie. Whatever, it's a really great movie. Um, but just, you know, you can close your eyes and kind of pull what your wasps from your closet and the fundamentals collection. So, you are actually, we did this deep dive on the Liam yeah. and we did, we did a, a, a twinsy deep dive on the Liam and the Marlin. Also, got, we did not discuss that either. We had no, no understanding that either of us was going to do that. So. Yeah, but it makes sense because as a team, as a company, as a brand, I think Amy really wants us to all speak the same language and give you guys what you need, styling, fit, and yeah, yeah, information wise. So, so, let's dig into it a little bit more. I'm wearing so I'm wearing the Marlin. Yeah. Um, I went up to you guys know from my video the other day. I do about a ten or twelve because I go. I like mine with more length or more a room in it. Yep. Um, so I tend to like. This is a 12, because okay. I knew that I was going to be layering something a little bit thicker underneath, and again, I tend to wear a button-up as as I am a male, and I just I tend to gravitate toward that silent, like classic mm -hmm. button-up blazer moment most of the time, and this really helps um, with a little bit of room throughout here. Again, it's still sitting with my elbow space. It's still got enough room in the front so that I can you know button it and still have a little bit of motion. The muscle isn't too tight, and the armpit isn't jabbed up into my armpit, which is what you don't. And he actually has the denim shirting on, which is a really substantial denim. Um, it's not your, your, I guess, chambray shirt, per se. It's the same denim that we're using in the denim bottom bodies. Exactly. Both similar. Um, and it matches back to that pretty good. So could you show, can you take this off? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Um, and then, yeah, so I have the, um, the classic wash on. Um, I have this in the garment dye that we did in the red and the... Uh, and the cream from a season ago. So I just wanted to, I also invested in this. I bought this as well because I really, I wear these day in, day out. Um, I love it from the, the simple fact that we are 
you can wear it as a, an outerwear piece as well as, a, as well as like it's on its own. It has um, snaps, and I'm actually really tempted. I was going to do a magic mic on him and really just bust it over. Yeah. But I, Thank I, you. I remember that I don't know what he has on under. However, <laughs> I, this could really, I mean, we could, this would be a really intimate <laughs> HR moment. Amy, if you're watching from Mexico, yeah, sorry, this we're is not ripping it off. Yes, but you could <laughs> top this open and wear it as a jacket. So this is a way that I'll actually show you a little while. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I, Oh, they want to see okay. my t-shirt. Absolutely. Show it. I really, yes. this was it. Yes. This hey, is what I was excited about. Because again, I think we were, just, we were looking, we were looking for something very simplistic. I'm always I do a front tuck, so I'm very like funny about like where I want my things to hit. And so I think you should play with your clothes and see where they're supposed to. Okay. So this is me. This is where it hits on the sleeve. I think Amy says it's not rude. It's not rude at all. I talk to people about their arms feeling like, oh, my arms are a little fuller. Even if they're smaller, it's in a good place. I am a big fan of rolling things. Yeah. Um, call me, you know, what is it, Johnny from the Outsiders? I really feel like Lost Boys. It gives Lost Boys vibes. Cry baby. So, yeah. Cry and this baby. Is, Cry oh, baby. look at us. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Whole different vibe. Yeah. Um, and this brown is really great. I'm wearing it back to the navy. Normally, I wouldn't wear. I I, I stay away from browns. This is a really rich brown, and it goes back to everything in the collection really well. Yeah. Cool. Um. So. And I'm wearing the large. So I I would take. I could take an extra large in this because, it, as you can see, it's kind of like snugger, and I want more ease. Um, yeah. But it's still a vibe, and it's still, it still has a substantial amount of stretch. And it comes in gray and white. Um, so I'm wearing the extra small in this, just so people are, know my si the, the sizing. I'm wearing extra small in this. I took a small in the other versions that I bought recently, but I liked a little bit. I wanted a little bit more slimness in this one because I feel like I'm going to wear this as like on its own as a shirt um, most of the time. Um, and then I'm in the, the black denim ring koozies. Uh, I'm the regular length, so I'm 5'7", just so you guys know. Um, and so I have a regular length on, and I have a 27. Can you show them from the back? Yeah. So we can just talk about the ease again. So he's wearing this back. This is as intended. Mm -hmm. And this is falling. His waist is not the same measurement as the circumference of the pant. So it's supposed to sit. This is where his natural waist. Put your hands back on. Yeah. So this would be my natural waist. Yeah. And this is where, back. just to give a little, this is yeah. not showing too much. And this yeah. is where the actual pant is. And this is, again, it's a hip, it's a hip. Laying pant. It is a hip, like hanging pant. So yeah. make sure that it, this, if I was to take a measurement for this pant, like we showed you the other day, I would take it on that kind of that bone area right around here as it loops around kind of yeah. the top of your, your bottom. And this is a really fresh way to wear the denim. I actually want to show you what Grace has on today. It looks really cute. It's the skirt that actually you could wear back to this top. Um, and she's also incorporating the denim, the black denim, yeah. into it. Just so you guys know, it is the same wash that yeah, you wanted for to sure. create that set. Grace, do you want to talk about this on your own? Yeah, no problem. Hi guys, thank you for tuning in. Um, so this is my outfit. I kind of want to discuss uh, just denim in general from our fundamentals collection. As you already saw, um, Patrick kind of had the same idea where he was mixing uh, denim colorways and I think that's a really great way to kind of have a little bit more fun, create a different set, for instance. They're the same fabrication but two different colorways and guess what, they look really good together. So as you can see, I have here our fundamentals mini skirt. I've highlighted this before, but I think you just need to kind of see it on the body to really fully appreciate it. So this guy is my regular size, size 25, and as you can see, it does have a bit of an opening, but it's not really that much, um, like really high on me. It's not exposing or makes me feel uncomfortable. It's just enough for me to kind of walk freely. Um, and then you can kind of see in the back, it does have this flare proportion kind of. It just has more design when it comes to a denim skirt. And all that means is that it's really designed forward and great to style with, but it's made in a pretty practical fabric that you can wear literally every day. So <laughs> I have this guy and I paired it with our rib Giselle tank. Um, this comes in quite a number of different colorways. This is one of the new colors. Would we say this is tan? Tanny, tan-ish, okay. <laughs> Okay, um, but I do know it comes in white, black. Is there any other colorways that we can highlight from our spring fundamentals? Would you know? Just white. I'm not sure if it's a navy. Don't quote me on that, but hey. Um, and I just kind of wanted to bring in, again, a denim proportion in here. And this is our black trench denim from our resort collection. We, uh, we did this last year in a classic wash. But this is the dark wash, and I also wanted to highlight that this skirt does come in black. So if you want a kind of pairing, a whole set, this can really work really well. We also have black denim quins, brancusis, 
And then also the resort collection came with this amazing maxi skirt that's quite straight. So there's quite a number of different ways that you can make this into a set. Um, I also have on our Espresso Cameron shoes. Um, it's a real highlight, it's one of my favorites that we just um, brought back in. And I kind of like it as the ick factor. As you can see, it's a grounding color. It really does bring everything together, but it stands out on its own because it's a patent leather. So it has this really great sheen, and it breaks it up and it makes it a little bit more elevated. You can also wear this with sneakers, low top sneakers, Converse if you like, um, one of our Bronson or Leos, if you kind of have one of those like cold days. And then also if you want to wear our Barons, our slippers, this can be a nice little texture to feel it out, but also be a little bit more leisurely. Um, just to discuss on size, this guy's an extra small, extra small, 25 and 36. So. Um, any questions? <laughs> to the measurements for the Brancusis and the Quins. I take a 24 in my Brancusis because I want them a little higher up, but that's a preference thing. And then for the Quins, I can take a 24 or 25, depending on how I really want them to fit on me, such as do I want a slouchy chill fit, which is 25 that allows me to eat a big dinner every once in a while. And a 24 if I kind of want it to be like really streamlined, high up, and really showcase my body. And that's if I just want an elevated pair of jeans. It really depends on the hole that I'm looking for in my closet. But like I always say when it comes to Tibby, style is much more of a preference than it is an essential thing. Um, but Jen is here, and Jen has a really great <laughs> outfit. <laughs> hey, guys. Um, hello. Um, so I actually, from our new fundamentals, wanted to highlight some of the new colorways that we have coming. Um, there's so much good shirting and we're moving into some more slim lines for these um, shirting options Which I really really love So I just wanted to kind of show how this nice lavender color could be paired back to some colors You definitely already own in your closet. Um, I paired it with the stone Stella's here And then I have the black belt and some white sneakers to give it like a little bit of playfulness um, I just I popped in because Jen mentioned earlier she really wanted to wear this with her brown belt but she forgot, and so I think that that's an important thing. She thought that, like, what'd you say about this? The, the, the black belt was fine, but you preferred the black, the brown. Yeah, I really, oh, the brown would have absolutely done it for the color combo for me on this. And um, why? It would have just added some nice yeah. warmth that I think would be really welcome with these kind of cooler tones. You know, both of these are a little bit icier, so having that kind of warmth in there I think would really elevate it an extra notch. But you know, the black and white sneaker feels really modern too, so I'm not mad at it. You know, it works for me just fine. And your adjective is playful. Right, so even though she has on pearls and she has on a button down and a trouser, it's still her vibe and her, like you feel like yourself. Yeah, totally. Yeah. I mean, the color is really what does it here and really just kind of adding it into those more kind of businessy or like neutral colors is really what I think brings it up a notch for me and makes it feel like myself. Um, also, I have my little like tabby sneakers on, so that definitely is me, you know? And we joke about like being too lady or too businessy, but I think the truth of the matter is there are people that are lady and are business vibes, but if you turn around and just for, this is the Charlie, and the Charlie is still, oops, yeah, do a little hair lift. The Charlie still has that signature detail, it's the same as the gay, but it's a little bit more like a classic fit. Yeah, so you can see, um, I'm wearing the extra small here, which is my true size. I normally go for a zero or a 25. Um, extra small so the shoulders here right where it's hitting me the seam right across there um, and I could even untuck it to kind of give you a little bit more of an idea of how it might play like that how tall are you I am five foot three okay so Jen so, is five foot three and this is where it's fitting her I mean yeah. hitting her you can see it still has like a bit of length to it which I think is really interesting can definitely make it work as an overshirt um, or something like that other ways I would play with it is definitely opening up a couple buttons at the bottom, doing some of those tricks that we learned to kind of There's give different proportions to, you know, a pretty super fan. And just so you know, if you guys don't know already, Jen's Instagram is, of course, Jen, J-E-N, dot Tibby. 
You know that already, but Jen with one N. Yeah. Jen with right. cool. okay. one Awesome. So we have Patrick back. We're kind of like in sync a little bit with our colors. Yeah, I know. I was like, wow, um, we're wearing Yeah, we always do it. So <laughs> I tend to wear, I just popped this Marlin on because I wanted to show you the difference between the lamb that I had on a minute ago. Um, yeah. Oh. So this is the oh, large yeah. that you had on. Yeah, I had on the large earlier and the lamb, and now I have on the 14 and the Marlin. So that's that bit is... Slimmer, the lapel is a little, whoa, look at Grace. Like, Grace is <laughs> um, and I have it on, actually, we haven't talked to you about resort in a while, but resort still exists. Winter still exists. You should, <laughs> I mean, um, I'm just, I'm just, we, this is a way to pair back, that's a funny thing, but yeah. it's a way to pair back your fundamentals back to the pieces you've already purchased from resort. I went um, into a post on past, present, future. So yep. this is where we kind of carry that idea through, where it's past purchases, present closet, Future, as in fundamentals. Because you're or building spring. a wardrobe. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, so that's not just buying pieces. Thing. You're building a wardrobe and a lifestyle. Um, yeah, um, I'm wearing the the featherweight cashmere T-shirt. Um, honestly, who doesn't want to be wrapped in cashmere? Um, you guys have seen this from us before with that cocoon sweatshirt with the one sleeve and the scalloped hem. Mm -hmm. We did do uh, a version of that is slightly longer and it has both sleeves are able to be open. I'm just wearing the T-shirt version. Um, I'm really glad we oh, did this. Oh, sorry, did this fantastic neutral. Um, I will, um, I'm wearing a small in this, usual size. I'm wearing a small in the jogger. This is that, uh, the shiny nylon. So it has- the new nylon. Exactly. For uh, fundamentals. For fundamentals. For this and you guys saw this on the runway if you were with us. Yep. If not, um, it's okay. Uh, so this is, I've gotten a lot of questions on the comparison between the Celia drape and this one. Mm -hmm. This one has a lighter, the fabric is a little bit lighter. Um, there is almost this- There's a striation to it. Yes, uh, exactly. The percentage of, this one is like 100% polymate, not that we have to get into the fabric, but um, the Celia drape is a little heavier in mm -hmm. the end and yeah. does read like a liquid leather, which you said before. Exactly. This has a striation. I think it's gonna get, it almost, I, this one reads more like silky kind of mm -hmm. to me. In almost that like sense. a hammer silk, but not. Exactly. Okay. Um, and it is a little bit lighter of a feel. Um, same cut as everything else. You'll still take the, your traditional size in it if you are buying it. I'm wearing a small. Um, I just love that actually, this is the reason I did this with the extreme fabric mix essentially. Same thing with the, the mix between the Giselle and what um, Gutura has on with the pleated skirt. I just love the, the, the fuzzy knit against kind of something shiny and kind of a little bit different as well. Yeah. So I thought I should show you that I had on the Giselle underneath. So I have it on back to the pleated skirt and mm -hmm. I was doing slit on slit. If you notice, this is the, <laughs> the cutesy uh, slit that comes with the Giselle uh, rib knit. Cool. All right. All right. So I'm actually going to introduce, well, not introduce because this isn't a fashion show, but um, <laughs> I mean, it, it is a fashion show about fashion, but not a fashion show. Um, but Grace is going to show us what she has on. She actually has on the balloon pant. And so we're going to have a conversation about the Marlin versus the Liam on Petite Bodies. Yes. Hi, guys. So I have on one of our new fundamental balloon pants and Liam. I oh. first off love this. <laughs> I mean, this is top tier. You saw my face when you came out. Like, and, and she has on the balloon pant and you're how tall? I am 5'1". Also, I am wearing a heel. I just kind of wanted to give more of an office look. Also, if you don't wear heels to the office, just use the texture. But, but this I, is also not just office. I mean, oh I, no, this is this is, Yeah, I mean, hello. Right, bring it down. That's right. <laughs> no, but um, yeah, this is just a really great homage to suiting. And the first thing I thought of when I put it on was like my mom, because I know there's this is such a classic yep, kind I've of seen my pattern. Mom but I also love that it was modern enough where I don't feel like I'm in that time period. It's just me. And I love it. I think that this is really cool. I just want to kind of showcase the colorway. It's actually all black and white, which I'm really like taken aback by. Not in a bad way. Um, but it reads well. It, it, it reads wonderfully. Black really well. Back also, to white really well and back to color, but you're doing your one. Exactly. And I also feel like if you can see, like, there's little elements of, like, classic patterns. So there's, like, harem bone, there's plaid. So it really does talk when it comes to a non-print print. Um, so as Tara was saying, I am wearing the balloon pants. This is the regular. It looks great. I'm also wearing a size zero, which is my true size. And I have over the Liam, which it looks really great. It doesn't overpower me at all. It falls very straight to the body. And I'm wearing all my true sizes, size zero, extra small, and then this guy, an extra small. Um, I kind of wanted to give an PDW office look, so I kind of grabbed our memes, which are quite beautiful. And I think it just plays really well with heritage, but also with this vibrant red. 
This is our Skin Like Mercerized Padded Tank. Um, as you can see, you can see a little bit under, but I don't mind that. I have on a sports bra today because I will be going to the gym later. <laughs> and, you know, it just kind of talks to one, my personality, and two, I have the coverage, so I don't feel too bad about it. Um, but yeah, I think this is just like really great when it comes to one I am wearing as a set, but also if you break this apart, it has the elements that really works well in your closet, just pieces and options when it comes to suiting, but also if you kind of wanted to pair it with like a pop of color, a t-shirt, if you wanted to wear this over a dress, um, it really has that um, presence without really stepping too far out. Um, Cool. Hi. <laughs> um, but before we get into Jen's um, outfit, I just wanted to showcase the difference between a Liam and a Marlin. They do come with this particular pant as a matching set, but it really depends on your preference when it comes to uh, which one you feel like works best in your closet. Also, guys, have you noticed I use? Yeah, we're getting so handy with these. There you go. Here. There you go. I love it. Um, so this is the Marlin. This is the size zero. And again, it matches perfectly with this guy, but gives a completely, well, not a completely different feel or presence. It's just a different fall on the body, and it really depends on your preference when it comes to how you lean into suiting. Um, but elbow cutouts, because you know we love our elbow cutouts. This is it close. Here's the back. If you kind of want to take a note, uh, a note of it. It also does have the ring in the back. Um, but yeah. Cool. cool. So, speaking of elbow cutouts, um, I wanted to bring up our new cocoon sweatshirt with the hood. Um, I'm wearing this in a small in navy here. I usually go for an extra small, but I actually like to size up in the cocoon sweatshirt because it gives me a little bit of added length and a little bit more dramatic of a shape. So I definitely feel like if you're in between sizes on this one, you don't know which to go for, go for the bigger one. I think it's going to give you a much more sculptural proportion on the body and just feel like a little bit cozier than um, the smaller size would, especially because this band around the hips is a little bit fitted here to give it that shape. So that's what I would say on sizing. Um, Style-wise, this literally couldn't be better for me. I'm just, I'm in need of a hoodie that does this thing over here. So I paired it back to our shiny nylon joggers in navy yes. um, for a kind of one look here, again with just my sneaker on today. Um, so I'm doing the navy and white thing, but as Amy might say, I don't look like a realtor. You know, I'm clearly not selling you a house here. I think taking this little bit more, um, what's the word, like traditional color palette and then turning it on its head with kind of like still my little funny pearls peeking through and the sweatshirt. I buy very casual wear. Thank you, Tora. Yeah, especially in New York, I buy house Yeah. Creativity is the number one quality. Employer, probably like retailer, uh, yeah. her, looks for, sorry. But you have on pearls, so I think that that's pretty cool. Yeah, there you go. Um, sorry if I cut you off. No, you're good. Um, you I, have a little jogger? Yes, yeah, so we have on the same nylon jogger, and I, again, am 5'8". I wear the wilts, you know it, you guys are calling me it by my nickname. Um, so I really like what Grace was saying about traditional menswear and being inspired and paying like homage to you know, seeing her mom in the same things. I think the same goes for the classic shirt. Um, you can never have too many white shirts. You can never have too many poplin shirts. What's so playful about the fundamental line uh, this season is the colors. So this is a really cute baby blue. Cute, it's not rude. Um, a really sweet, not sweet, don't wanna use that because it's not pastel. But for me, it feels sweet as in good, not sweet as in girlish. Wow, what's going on here? Anyway. So I have on the Charlie shirt in size 14, and I'm also wearing it back to the Liam. I'm giving you a little bit of skin here because I feel like this is actually my big. And the shirting feels kind of traditional back to the blazer, but then I'm wearing it with a jogger, which feels pretty chill. Um, and I can actually take this off and show you how it fits on me. And Claire's nearby. I just wanted to see, because Claire has on something pretty cute. This is actually the cashmere no. cutout. Yes. You guys know Claire, Claire.tibby. Um, tell us about what you have on. Like. Yeah, so first I'll start with my cashmere tunic that I'm wearing. This is the featherweight cashmere cocoon tunic top. As you can see, I'm wearing it a little asymmetrically right now just to add a little bit more dimension to my outfit. It has both sleeves. You can have it fully on. 
you can take it fully out, play around with some tricks here, tie it in the front, kind of however you would like to play around with it. Play around with your clothes. There's no right or wrong with most of our outfits. Question? All of them. Um, people want to know if the navy Charlie is the same blue as the oversized David in the previous one. I wanted to have that conversation with you, and I'm so happy. Maybe somebody will bring that up, and I can compare it. Um, no, so the blue Gabe is actually softer and almost like gray. It's a little lighter than this. This is um, more, I don't know if I could say more blue, not more saturated, but it's definitely a different shade. So if you had both of these, there would not be an overlap because they, they feel different, the fit is different, um, and the color is slightly different. Yeah, it's the back that's different here too. The other one has that slight flap here. Yeah, and so this is more straight. Lower, and mm -hmm. this is more traditional in fit. Yeah. More of a classic fit. And the color is like a menswear yeah. um, shirt. People also want to know if the regular length shiny nylon wool joggers are running longer than the other regular length joggers. I feel that they're running the same. It also depends on placement. So here I'm wearing it. My natural waist is here. I mean, this is going to be, God, I don't want to do that for Urkel. But if you pull them up here, of course they look shorter. So if you wear them down where they're yeah. supposed to be, they're gonna hit, they feel like they're hitting a little longer. And I have them on zip, which also makes them kind of release because there has either, there is an elastic at the bottom. So I'll do a, a lovely compare and contrast of the blues here for you. So we have the Gabe. I don't know if this reads well for you guys. This is actually in blue. And then we have the lavender. So this is what it looks like in comparison to what I'm wearing. This is what I'm wearing here. And it might read, pink on the screen, but it's actually a beautiful lavender, and then the stripe. So I can put these two up beside each other. Hope this is helpful. So do you see that? You almost think that this guy is like wider. It's less saturated. That's the word I was looking for earlier. This is a more saturated. Our graphic designer says that's the right thing to call it. Um, <laughs> so um, what else do we have? Uh, oh, we want to talk shirting? Yeah. OK. And just for like. Quickly, are those the new blue satin joggers? Yes, these are the new blue satin joggers. Cool. Yeah, these are not the crispy. These are not, not the Celia. Celia right? But if you did not get the Celia drape, this is a great opportunity to get the satin mm -hmm. in and get the navy in for the jogger. For sure. Also, I think this is a little lighter when it comes to slightly lighter. The yeah. Celia read a little dark. Some people almost thought it was black. It was like the deepest, darkest navy. So this is like one hair yeah. lighter. Yeah, I think. Also in yeah. yeah. So this is, I just thought I should take it out and show you guys the trolley. And I, this is also a, a conversation about yeah. pulling things that you normally don't pull. I wear the Gabe, that's my body yeah. type. I never really wear the Charlie, and here I am, and I feel pretty chill in it. Um, I probably would wear this back to denim also. Grace, yeah. let's chat. Cool. So, as you can see, Tara has on the slim shirting and I have on her favorite, the Gabe, my favorite too, to yep. be honest. Um, and I just kind of wanted to showcase this on the body, someone as small as me kind of putting it on. And as you can see, it's not really oversized or not really drowning me. Um, Look at that from the back. It's really modern sure. and really chill. She has it on back to the Byron. For sure. And um, this is kind of what makes this shirt so charming is these kind of divots in the side and all that does is to really give you options and that's all we ever want to give you at Tibby is just a few options to play with to make this a little bit more dynamic in your closet. So I decided to tuck in the front and have the back out um, mm -hmm. as a way to kind of showcase what I'm wearing which is the Quinn jeans which are high waisted. Um, I'm wearing my true size, size 25, and as you can see, it fits me pretty good. And it's, this is like, the regular, not the petite. There this, is no petite. There. Trick question. Trick question. Yeah. <laughs> there is no petite. Before you ask. <laughs> when it comes to the quince. So I just wanted to let my shorties out there know you're good. Um, also, it does have a little bit more length when it comes to the brand koozie. So just take that into consideration as well. If you're someone who's kind of on the taller side and you think like compared to the brancusis that have the, the regular and the long, this guy kind of covers what you're kind of a little hesitant about. It will show your ankle still, but still not be like so high on your shit. So great. Some people ask, should I size down in the brancusi if I wear a certain size in the, in the quin? Not at all. So tell them, you take what size? I take a size 25. In the Quinn. In the Quinn. And also in the Brancusi. I take the Brancusi's 
but that's a preference thing. This uh -oh. is also a little more chill, which I like in my high waist. So that's all a preference. I can right. definitely wear a versus size 25. Intention. Yes. So I can, can wear versus has to wear. Yeah. Yep. But 25 for sure in the brand Cruzies. If you want it, the intended fall, which is a little lower, a little chilled, and a little further the inseam. But um, you can even get to a 26 if you want them slouchier. <laughs> so it really depends. Um, but this is a size 25. This is my belly button right here where it should be. Um, and if I had a 24, it would just be higher up, which depends on what I feel. Um, and this is the Gabe shirt. I'm just going to put this out so you can kind of see. This is right here on me. Also, it looks really good, just not tucked in because um, it just has a really like architectural shape to I'm it. I'm going to grab that and try it on so we can do a side by side. Ooh, cool. Um, but this is an extra small, as you can see. Um, and there's quite a number of different ways that you can style this. It's one of those shirts in my closet that really does a lot for me. As you guys already know, I happen to really enjoy doing a little bit of a button trick to give this a little bit more emphasis. And I do that on those, those days that I have something a little bit more slim underneath and I just want to add some volume, a shape. And it's just something a little more interesting. So you can definitely do that. There's a video on my, pro, on my Instagram that you can kind of see the steps to that. Um, I also wear this as an outerwear. So if I wanted just to kind of have something lightweight um, over, this can definitely be that alternative outerwear piece. Let's say a very hot night in Miami. <laughs> Rachel Sullivan, I'm, I'm talking to you. Um, but also, just like if you're out about traveling, you just need something that just covers but doesn't really commit to a jacket, this shirting can do really a wonders for you. Also, another way that you can style this, just because it does have these divots, is if you have a belt and you wanted to belt the front and have the back out, all it does is just takes a classic shirting into another level of styling. Um, and we completely support that. <laughs> also, if you like, we can tie the front. And all you're doing is just like making a little bit more emphasis for the waistline, depending on where you decide to tie it. But this is just a nice, cute way to kind of have fun with your shirting. And then we've seen it on our styling online, as well as sometimes on our lives where we completely button it and we do a crisscross and tuck it. And all that does is this kind of cool shape that allows an opening. And again, it's just a little bit more coverage, but also having really a lot of fun with your classic shirting. And here's Petora back hey. with her shirt. So I'm wearing this and actually the color that you guys, <laughs> hello. The, Hi. <laughs> the color that um, you guys asked, was it lighter or dark? And this is actually lighter in the game. So this is me wearing it fully out. I like the front tuck, which I actually learned from King Patrick or Grace. I'll give you some what credit today. What a <laughs> I'll so give Patrick some credit. Um, so I, just unbuttoning, that was a really fast one, but if I were doing it in the right way, yep. So I just unbuttoned the bottom and tucked one to the right and tucked another part to the left. Yeah. And, and Grace now has her side. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so two different vibes, Yeah. but also same shirt. Same shirt, two different vibes. Yeah. Like, this shirt offers a And so that's the, that's the great thing about fundamentals. This is your closet, so imagine that we're you on Tuesday and then you on Thursday, and then maybe you going to dinner or play or work. Um, I'm actually gonna put the denim shirt on as an outerwear piece. I also just think what we as stylists have learned with our years of working is that these are the bases that we always turn to. These are like the things that we know for sure just kind of work really well and that's re it's just kind of stayed in our closet for years and all we're doing is offering these silhouettes prints, items that we know work really well and fill holes in our closet for longevity and for those who don't have them, we've created them for you to have, to utilize and understand the tools that are already in your closet. So yeah. I, hope that, I hope that was digestible. <laughs> yeah, and I'm in the midst of rebuilding my wardrobe, which we talked about before because I'm postpartum and I've gained and lost and Pandemically, I, I, I don't know if that's a word, but I created one because it feels like it. 
Um, my wardrobe and my lifestyle isn't the same, so it's really great for me to build on these fundamentals. So buying one piece or two pieces here and there will really kind of extend the life of your wardrobe. Mm -hmm. So I'm actually, I threw on the denim as outerwear, and I, I, I was like, oh, you look pretty cute, girl. Yeah. Like this is more, <laughs> this is definitely my vibe. Um, and I would also wear a button, and I love a good denim on denim tuxedo moment. I think that's the chillest I could ever be, but also the dressiest. So I think we've given you guys the full gamut as of much as we can today. Um, yeah. yeah. One okay. last question. People want to know how the boots fit. The boots. Oh, so um, these are the Leos. I boots up. I have pretty small ankles. And I feel pretty good about them. I mean, they, they bag out a little bit. I wear a size 40. I actually threw on a size 41 and it was a little too big. So I didn't need to go up to that. Versus another boot in my um, Lola, I wear a 41. I would highly agree. Um, the Leos and Bronsons fit really true to size. They also mm -hmm. come in half sizes. So if you're a half size. And the half size, matters. Yes, the half does matter. Yeah. Um, I will say there hasn't been a calf that that boot has not fit. <laughs> And I mean, like Bronson, let it be the narrow or the regular. We have seen all types of caps. It has not, it has not failed anyone. If it's like a sock too, and someone said, oh, mine is fitting a little snug. It's not too snug. That's fine. You don't want it to roll down. The whole point is like when people um, design shoes and boots like this, sometimes they roll down and that's not the vibe. You want it to like really sit on your ankle. So I feel pretty good about this today. Um, yeah. Pretty chill. Yeah, um, I will say in my experience, going half the size up just had the heel pop out a little bit. But mm -hmm. all that means is that if you're someone who likes an insole, you just made a comfy shoe even comfier. Or even a sock too, because sometimes we tend not to wear a thicker sock or um, a sock at all with these sock type boots. So yeah, we have sure. options. Um, and what else? Uh, yeah. Visit your stylist, visit your stores. Another thing that we're going to be doing more of is telling you where you can find these items in your local, in the specialty stores or boutiques that carry them. So, ask us. We yeah, are here for you for sure. in every capacity. We want to help you get this right, get your purchases right the first time around. Um, and we love you. And so we're so happy to be here in Amy's stead, even though we'd love to be in Mexico with you. I would love to be in Mexico right now. Yeah. But it's okay, because we're doing it. So are there any other questions? Otherwise, we're going to jump off. Again, we're at the Soho store. Grace.tv, Couture.tv, you know this already. We also had Claire.tv, Jen.tv, and Patrick.tv. So total vibe. Great. All right, guys. Well, bye. Thank you so much for tuning in, and let us know if we can assist you in any way. Stay tuned. Take care.